How's it everyone? Jacques from Dapper Shaves. Back in the beautiful rainforest for another shave video. First of all, is excuse, I, I've got some flu, quite a bad one, but I think it's going better. Which one's gonna give me the better shave? Which one's going to give me a better shave? So I've been inspired by Martin. So Martin, this, <laughs> this comparison uh, is uh, because of you. So, um, I'm not going to use two brushes, guys. I'm going to use a Wiscott 11 millimeter badger, dry. I've got a basin full of um, quite hot water and if I talk about quite hot it's difficult to keep my hand in there for more than 10 seconds at a time. Right, so that brush is now soaking and hydrated. People's pre-shave, by now you would come to know that I essentially um, mostly only use a master soap creation soaps. I have got many others which I use from time to time and I try other soaps. So, um, but for shave purposes in South Africa this is what I recommend and use for straight razor shave. So. Awesome soaps you guys would know by now. Um, while I build myself a pre-shave let's quickly talk about these razors because they are very very different. First of all is, is this Dovo, I think it's a 55, just check here on the tank, I haven't got my glasses on. And it's got a German edge on the front for the strakke bard, for the strongest beard, it's a 4.8 with a bit of a French point, but this razor has got, um, uh, for its size, actually quite a pronounced belly. And uh, this razor was made by Fritz Bracht. I hope you guys can, can see the belly in there on the light. But if you feel it like this, it's very pronounced. So Fritz Bracht took over Dovo from um, Mr. Foss and Dorps Sons because they were driving the company into the ground, not making money, and Fritz Bracht already was renowned. So um, he, uh, Dorp and Foss sold um, the majority of the stake in the company to Fritz, and then a couple of years later Fritz acquired the remaining shares from the children. So he essentially rescued uh, Dovo. And uh, this was in 1940s, thereabouts. Uh, so uh, Fritz knew and understood the benefit of having a bit of a, a belly a thickening behind the edge. And that's just to make sure that that edge is a lot more stable and specifically for tough beards. I'm not sure if Ulrich from Kroat was taking his cues from uh, from Fritz, but in any case, so that is a belly razor. The Philharmonica 14 on the other hand, on the other hand, um, is quite the opposite, besides that it's larger, so that's an inch blade. Um, it is a very thin grind, so it's got no belly. It's ultra thin, very flexible, and renowned as uh, phenomenal shavers. And that one is, eventually, that particular laser has been haunting me for a very long time with getting a, a proper edge across the entire width of the blade. And um, we've uh, eventually gotten there. 
Both these razors have got a black Arkansas uh, edge finished on. And um, yeah, so the other thing is the right side of my face, this side, this area here is the most difficult area for me to get um, BBS coming against the grain. Moreover, this area here on this cheek here is a particularly difficult area and so is this. So pay attention to that. Um, I'll try and remember and cover those when I shave those areas. So with a small brush, um, I think one of the reasons why many people bowl lather because they struggle to manage um, lather if you want to make a lot. So once you've made some lather, park it one side of your face and then work the other area. Okay, work it nicely, I can add a bit more hydration and uh, I just work this area, I can maybe steal a bit there. And then I can pop the bulk of that lather there. And then I come to the other side, maybe steal a little bit of soap. I lather, I add some water. And I prep the skin. And so as the lather becomes difficult to manage in one area, I just pop it somewhere else and uh, continue with my shave. We've got some goodness going in on here. And I'm going to add a little bit more water. <clears throat> so the idea then is once you've um, created enough lather is to leave just enough on your skin for the first pass and then um, remove the excess, have it on the brush for your second and third pass or um, post shave or whatever you do. And I can tell you we can still add a ton of <coughs> water in here, that's a particularly good edge catch with a very slippery brush. And that's just because I'm like a bull in a china shop. That's why I, I lost that brush. I use quite a lot of scrap to really ensure I lifted the bristles. Okay, so I'm gonna call that good. So that's a nice, thick, well hydrated lava. And there we go. Fully loaded brush with some on top. I can use for a second pass or... Or post shave. So Jacques. Uh, I think I want to use the filler Monica against the grain on this difficult areas here. So this side I'm going to do against the grain shave. This is two days uh, beard growth. And this filly is dealing very nicely with this, with this beard. Shallow blade angle. Um, 
a good skin stretching. And that's very, very good. This is also the portion of the blade that was problematic. So I'm glad to report that it seems to be um, what I like it to be. So yeah, uh, I'm enjoying this fully shave. They are phenomenal razors. I'll buy it at a move premium if you can find one. But what I hope I'm going to demonstrate is that you do not require a massive blade yeah that's good a massive blade um, to do the work Okay, so in order to try and make this a fair contest, I've gone against the grain on the difficult stuff that was essentially here, and I've gone across the grain which is um, difficult here, so to try and make that fair, on the difficult side of my face I'm going to um, first of all just do the sideburn across the grain. Because those are essentially go, go straight down just to give it um, a fair chance. And then I'm going to come here against the grain on my jawline. Um, on those hairs which is the, the difficult ones. So. Quite a large area I've done like that, and that is very, very good. Um, there's obviously one or two hairs, same like here, but uh, we'll catch that in the second pass. I'm a huge fan of Fritz Brach razors. That man is a is a master. Him and Carl Friedelin. Those were the guys that were in their class, the, the leading guys. They understood razors and beards very, very well. Uh, so let's do this across the grain. With a smaller razor, and this is a 4 8. I can't remember if I mentioned that. It is uh, a lot more difficult to judge angle, um, angle like this, because a very little impact there is actually a little twist there is already 20 degrees. A little bit more is so well beyond 30. So with a smaller blade, at least for me, uh,
at least for me, if you're not used to the control on your hand and know where the blade is, that can be challenging. Uh, that said, I believe that you can shave with a small blade. You can shave with any blade, but I don't think that is um, in reverse true for the other way around. Right, so... Uh, and this area in my neck is also particularly difficult to get. Uh, A BBS, but what you've seen now is I've opened up the blade edge. And that more of a traditional recommended 30 degrees, even though I think that was beyond 30 degrees. Um, and that's because this, this blade edge is quite stable with a belly behind it. At least that's my take on it. So I'm going to rinse my face. Moreover, I want to get some clean water. Two days, one pass. Okay, so um, what I want to do is I want to clean the philharmonica, dry it and put it out the way and I want to complete my shave um, with a 5 because that is a fantastic shaver, one of my um, favorites um, and I'm happy to share that um, A classy shave with a classy razor with you guys. Alright, so, um, well hydrated skin. Guys, and this is plenty lager. I mean, I've still got left. We're going to do a post shave with it. Um, 11 millimeter knot. So I've done uh, against the grain pass this on this side um, first time around. So let's do um, a bit of a, a with a grain. Once again, if you want to, just open up that blade angle a bit.
Yeah, it is. Uh, it is an absolute little sports car, Ferrari. This thing just wants to race across your face. Very nimble, very light racer, but um, as I say, it really doesn't matter. Big, small. A proper racer with proper steel, home properly, irrespective of shave will give you Irrespective of size will give you a good shape. And moreover, if you somebody that has got a bit of a, uh, a tougher beard and struggle to get through stuff, you get a little bit of blade chatter or a little bit of jump, especially if you go against the grain, you get a belly razor. Um, I'll link a video for Kurat Razor Shave. It's got a, a, a big belly on that. Other vintage razors with um, large bellies that shave well. Japanese. The Sato SK 1, 2, and 3 razors. All have significant bellies. Ribbon razors, rosette. They're all Japanese and they all have serious bellies on them. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say. I don't want to just um, get that little French point there into the corners. Very easy to do, do with a smaller, lighter razor. Um, I don't think you're going to see the belly, but you may see this little bit of ground they've got on, on the French point. Very few manufacturers um, do that. Um, historically, Fritz razors are fantastic. And if you want one, you better buy them, because if I see them, I take them. I've also got a larger Dovo some number square point six eight. Also Fritz Brach. Also a belly on there. And uh, also a magnificent 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 shaver. Um, I think I've made my point with Dovo's Fritz Brach razors. Both black Arkansas edges. I'm quite sure there's a difference um, minutely. For me, I enjoyed both shades. They've given exactly the same results on the difficult areas. Um, so for me, they shaved the same. Um, they've got the same edge on, done by me, so um, it's quite a, quite a comprehensive compare, I think. Once again, here we go, this little devil. There you can start seeing that, that belly running down there. Uh, 
Here we go. In any case, post shave. My mouth is very dry and also my throat. It's all these things that tear up the, the slime and the phlegm. So, apologies for that. I took a lot of soap, you know. I am also slightly medicated. Um, lots of tallow, maybe way too much, but um, once again, you guys don't believe me when I say tallow is the closest thing you get to human fatty acids. Um, and so it will absorb into the skin very, very easily, effortlessly. I got some soap in the eye. Because I'm a bull in a china shop. Um, yeah. So that's the, um, the post shave. I'm going to use my Aki splash on this. I want to just let this sit for a moment. Maybe give you some close-ups on the Philharmonica because those of you that jumped off, um, you're missing out. So this is the Philly, the 14, second generation in green scales, one inch blade, made from uh, Solingen steel, Solingen blank, but um, quenched in, in ice or something, uh, and that's why the name Sub-Zero, ach, um, <laughs> I'm thinking Mortal Kombat. Uh, Kombat. I can't even remember this razor's name. Uh, a sub serum. Um, but look at this ultra thin grain. Can you guys see this? No belly, no nothing. Ultra thin from start to finish. The front side of the razor. Let me do it this way around. And I'm very satisfied that I eventually got um, a fantastic edge edge on this puppy so um, you guys might see this one a bit more you remember that little notch um, on the french point yeah you see it's the same on the philharmonica so um that's the other thing so there's fritz and these guys were some of the guys that did it <clears throat> by now no tallow Yes, yes, nothing. My skin's not greasy, my it's not oily, um, it feels good, it's nourished. And um, we're going to round it off with a splash. Uh, it was manufactured February 22, so I've still got another year to finish this. This bottle's already off. Um, once again, I date stamp all my witch hazels. I'll ask Fernando when that batch was manufactured. Moreover, I make it easy. When he does a, a new release, I just buy and then document the date. I think that's in fact what I did with the Miyaki. Um, I still have this amount of soap in my brush left. Um, I could have used for a post shave if you needed to, or do um, a, a third pass, 11 millimeter little brush. You don't need expensive stuff, you don't need um, many brushes, you don't need many razors. Collecting, yes, 100%. But if you think that the next brush and the next razor is going to improve your shaves, you are going to be extremely disappointed. All half decent made razors will give you a good quality shave. If there is a good edge in there, 
you have done the skin preparation properly and you've got control over your technique, you will have a fantastic shave, a quality shave, guaranteed. And I challenge you, if you think there's average quality thing which I will not get a quality shave on, send it to me, I'll show you the film. In any case, so, small little razor didn't cost me a fortune. Um, small little brush didn't cost me a fortune. And this is essentially the brush I and my daughter use to wash our faces um, on a daily basis. So, uh, all the subscribers, those of you that's been following me, thank you very much. See you guys on the next video.